See Beebe's bedtime story. Oh, hello. I'm Francis. I'm trying to work out how big the moon is. Do you know? When you look at it in the sky, it just looks tiny, just about this size. But when you see pictures of the moon, it looks so big, as big as this. Maybe if you look for the moon tonight, you can work out just how big it is. But it needs to be dark, as you can only see the moon at night time. I wonder where it goes during the day. Do you know? Well, I know a story where one little girl won't stop until she finds out where the moon goes when it's daytime. This little girl is called Luna, and the story is by Ruth Martin and Olivier Latique. It's called Where on Earth is the Moon? On the night Luna was born, the full moon filled up the sky, brighter than the stars, as round as a button, and bigger than ever before. As she grew up, Luna watched for the moon and saw that it came to check on her at bedtime. At night, before she climbed into bed, Luna liked to stand at her bedroom window with glossy moonlight puddling at her chilly feet. From there, she could see the moon sailing on a deep, dark sea of sky. The moon was so still and so pretty that Luna always felt soft waves of sleepiness sloshing over her as she drifted off to sleep. As she slept, Luna dreamed of crescent moons, of half moons, of full moons, but most of all, of walking on the moon. But each morning, when Luna woke up, the moon had gone. It was nowhere to be seen in the plain, clear sky. No stars blinked, no shadows danced across the bedroom floor, and there were no sparkly moonbeams to spotlight Luna standing at the window. Where does the moon go during the day, thought Luna. She pondered, she puzzled, she wondered, and she mooned about her bedroom, thinking all day long. Dusk crept up while Luna thought. Creamy moonbeams spilled in through the window, and the night time fell. Now the moon was back at last, Luna promised herself she wouldn't let it disappear again. She would stay awake and not go to sleep and keep watch for where the moon might go. From the window, Luna could see the ocean far away in the distance. As dark as the sky, the water glistened, waves whooshed and washed at the shore. Luna's dream took her down into the murky depths of the ocean. There she found a fish that glowed and glistened like the moon, but no sign of the moon at all. The next morning, Luna woke up, still wondering where the moon might go in the daytime. She wished the day away and promised herself she would find out that night. As nighttime came, Luna looked out at the moon, beyond the forest and over the distant mountains. Quack, 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 chirruped the crickets. To wit to woo hooted the owls. Luna tried as hard as she could to stay awake, but before long she felt herself falling into a dreamy sleep. Maybe, she thought, the moon rolled down behind the mountains, far, far away. Luna's dream took her floating high over the mountains. There, shimmering and shining, Luna saw a frozen lake as bright and beautiful as the moon, but no sign of the moon at all. Could there be a place Luna hadn't searched? Beyond the ocean, higher than the mountains, further than the clouds, where the moon might live? Luna's dream took her far, far away, into space. There, dancing in the darkness, 
She found the moon at long last. It was brighter than the stars and round as a button and beautiful as it was on the night she was born. Hurry home, Luna, whispered the moon softly. It's bedtime. But where do you go in the daytime? Luna asked. And the moon replied, I'm always here in space, watching over you. You just can't see me in the daytime. That night and forever after, Luna slept peacefully, knowing that the moon lived in space and appeared in the sky to check on her when nighttime fell. But being a curious little girl, Luna soon began to ask herself, where on earth? is space. And that story was called Where on Earth is the Moon? So now you can sleep peacefully too, just like Luna, knowing that the moon is living in space, looking over you. Maybe you can visit it in your dreams tonight too. Make sure you say hello to the moon from me. Sleep tight and I'll see you again soon. For another bedtime story. Night night. So, elephant, where will we go in our dreams tonight? Space or just above the clouds? <laughs>